In the 1970s, artist Larry Rivers produced one of the most iconic pieces of art to date. He titled this piece, Living at the Movies. Pictured here is Larry Rivers, commonly known as the godfather of pop art. The way Larry Rivers configured the elements of this piece together brings back memories of scrapbooking everything important in my life when I was a young girl. This little blonde girl would spend hours on end cutting up photographs, magazine clippings, and articles to then configure them onto sheets of paper to decorate. Each one of my scrapbooks held meaning in my life as they all marked an important event or vacation. While being such an important piece of art in the world, it also consists of many childish elements. These whimsical scrapbooking elements made me intrigued in what message Rivers was trying to relay and made me want to know more about the era in which this piece of art was created. The combination of high and low contrast colors, typography, and photography make this piece of art an intriguing addition to the pop art era. This piece of art takes place in a movie theater. There seems to be eight figures represented throughout the artwork, whom are all engaging in different things. Two of the figures are engaging in romantic actions while the other figures stand alone. On the right hand side of the artwork are the words, living at the movies. These words we know can be identified as the title of the piece of work but perhaps they hold more meaning than just a title of work. Placed in the artwork is a set of open legs, with popcorn being held in front of a woman's genitalia. The way Larry Rivers placed the bottom half of the woman's body is in contingent with the top half, making them seem as if they go together. Since the 1970s were a pivotal time for women's rights, we can infer that the photography and placement of the woman's open legs is seen as an act of rebellion and pride for the female gender. Larry Rivers was an American native, born in the Bronx in 1923. As an artist, he was majorly influenced by pop culture and brought large themes from the outside world into his work. Most of his artwork represents some issue in the world, whether that's sex, drugs, alcohol, gender, or sexual orientation. His art was at its prime right after the major era of Andy Warhol, one of the most iconic abstractionism artists to date. During this time, there was a strong push for the rights of women, African Americans, gays, and lesbians. The people of this era, Larry Rivers included, would not stand down until their voices were heard. For Larry Rivers, this was done through his artwork rather than through his voice. More specifically, in Living at the Movies, we can see a major push for social and political rights in the simple yet complex manner in which the way the figures are placed. This artwork is important to me because it raised awareness for women and their role in society, which was something far-fetched at the time. I believe the artists who took risks like this helped get our world to where it is today in regards to acceptance and using our voices.